recovery is a beautiful experience. It's a way to feel more reverent towards God, and it's also a way to have a physical reminder of our role in God's plan for us. However, wearing a head covering can be a bit of a struggle sometimes. In the past six and a half years that I've been wearing a covering, I've discovered a few things that help keep the head covering on, and that's what I'd like to share with you today. Five tips for keeping your head covering in place using the triangular headscarf. So, here is a square scarf. Basically, in order to turn it into a triangular scarf and be able to wear it, you're going to line up these two corners here and that creates the triangular scarf. I do have infinity scarves and rectangular scarves, which are just basically the long ones that you can wrap around your neck if you want to. Um, and I also use those, but today I'm just gonna be focusing on the triangular scarf. My name is Jessica. Welcome to my channel, Truth at Home. So let's get started. My five tips. Number one is your hairstyle. So you need to have a low hairstyle, kind of like what I have here. I have a low bun. Well, it's kind of like a twist up bun, but still this part here is low and close to the nape of my neck. You can have a ponytail or a low braid as long as it's close to the nape of your neck, it will work. Now, why do we want to have that? The reason is because when you have your head covering on and you tie it here at the nape of your neck, you want that knot to stay in place. And if you don't have a low hairstyle, the knot is going to want to slip up on your head and you don't want that. So tip number one, you need to have a low hairstyle. And I do want to add on to that. Just be aware of the direction that your hair is brushed. This is going to be important later on when we put the clips in because the clips are going to have to go in your hair at an angle. Okay, so some ladies like to brush their hair straight back. Other ladies like me will do a part and then have it down to the sides. Whatever style you prefer, it doesn't matter. But just keep in mind though, that when you apply or when you put on those clips later on, they're going to have to be put on, and I'll show you this here an angle to your hair to be able to catch it and to have a, a, a place for it to hold on to. All right, tip number two. This has to do with the scarf itself. You need to have the correct size of the scarf and you need to have the correct fabric. So let's talk about the size first. So I already showed you my scarf a little bit here. Let me open it up again. This scarf is what I would consider a medium scarf. I have tried to wear some scarves that were smaller than this and they weren't too bad. However, I did notice that when I'm outside, the wind will sometimes come up and because it's so short and the fabric isn't very heavy in the back, the wind will just flip it up over the top of my head and I'll end up looking silly. If the head covering is too long, what will happen is that you'll be sitting in your chair at church and your head covering will get caught between the back of the chair and your back and it will kind of tug on it and the head covering will fall, fall a little bit um, towards the back little by little as it gets tugged between your back and the chair. So you don't want it to be too long either. So a medium size it was what works the best and in order to find out what size works best, you really just have to try on some head coverings and find out which, which looks like it will work better. The type of fabric. I have noticed that fabric that is very silky and smooth does not stay on very well. Fabric that is more rough and that has a little bit more of a catch to it um, works a lot better. So even though my scarf might look a little bit silky, um, it's not really very smooth. It has it has kind of a cottony feel to it. I don't even know what this fabric is. Probably if you had 100% pure silk 
that might work. I've noticed that it's not as glossy and smooth as some of these synthetic fabrics are. Um, cotton is always a good choice. So the size of your scarf and the type of fabric that it made that it is made of are two things you want to consider. So that is my tip number two. Think about those things. Tip number three, the placement of the scarf. Okay, so I'm gonna put this on a little bit here. I'm not gonna put the snaps on yet. All right. So when I put my scarf on, I always try to make sure there's a little bit of hair showing right here. A little bit at the top and a little bit at the sides, just like that. Now, if it's too far back, your head covering will tend to fall back easier. If it's too far forward, it might stay on pretty well, but it will kind of give you that bald forehead look, which though some people don't mind or maybe even like, I don't really like that much. I don't think it's very flattering for my face. I think that you just have to experiment and find how forward how far forward you need to go to find a look that's flattering for your face. Some people have lower uh, hairlines and some people have higher hairlines. For people that have lower hairlines, they might be able to pull the hair covering forward even more. Um, mine pretty much sits right at the top of my head. All right, so the placement of this scarf um, is important. Right, and uh, I also, I'm gonna add this in. I cover my ears. Some people like their scarves to go behind their ears, and that's fine if you like that, but I don't really do that. I just always try to make sure that it's slightly in front of my ears. I just think that it looks better. Okay, so that was number one, hairstyle. Number two, size of scarf and type of fabric. Number three, placement of the scarf. Now we're at number four, the type of clip that you use. So basically, I put my head covering on, I try to make it even, I kind of pull it out like this and I look, I'm looking at the, in the mirror at the back of it and I'm trying to see if the sides are even. Okay, once I'm sure that the sides are even, I get my clips ready. So here are two kinds of clips. These are snap clips. And you can get these at Walmart, at the grocery store, buy them on Amazon. They are, let's see what the brand is, it says, I'm gonna to try to pronounce this, but I do not know how to say this word. I think it's scoonchy. I mean, that's like a, that's a weird word. <laughs> so anyways, doesn't matter what brand. Um, I like both of these. The smaller clips are less conspicuous, but the larger clips catch more hair. So you just kind of have to choose which, which you want. Larger and more conspicuous, but holds onto your hair better. Smaller and less conspicuous, but doesn't hold onto your hair as well. But either size will do. I try to pick out a color that is neutral. So brown, this is a dark brown, black, bronze, silver, any of those colors are neutral and will match with pretty much any color of head covering. So today I'm gonna to demonstrate this with the, with the large snap clips. Okay, again, so. I hold my head covering in place and then I pull it back a little bit and I put that snap in. Now you see how I'm trying to put it at an angle right across the, um, the way that I have my hair brushed. So my hair is brushed down like this, right? And I'm putting the barrette in at an angle to that in order to catch the hair. Notice I also leave a little bit of hair in the front near my forehead and uh, the side of the face because I don't want that to look bald. Um, also, I try to line my clips up with about eyebrow level. And that ought to stay pretty well. So type of clip is tip number four. Get the snap clips. Bobby pins for me don't, do not stay well. I've tried them and they just they come off too easily. If you try bobby pins and you have success with them, that's great. They just didn't work for me. Tip number five is the tightness of the knot. So now I'm gonna tie my head covering. If your head covering is super long, you might wanna put this part up while you're tying it in the back. That will help to get it out of the way.
I don't usually worry about it though because it doesn't get too much in my way. Okay, and again, I'm just gonna check to see if it's even on the sides. That's important to make sure it's even and the, the middle part is straight down the middle. Okay, so you don't want your head covering to be too tight. It's, it seems counterintuitive. You think that if you make it tighter, it'll stay on better, but not necessarily true. If this is really, really tight here, what's gonna happen is your head covering is gonna slip back farther because it's always gonna try to find a place where it's not as tight. Um, the cloth is. So don't make it too tight. On the other hand, don't make it too loose. If you make it too loose, little, little stragglers of the hair will find their way through here and stick out and that won't look cute. And it just won't stay as well. Um, so not too tight, not too loose. You have to kind of experiment to find what works. Pull those little strings down. And that's it. This will stay very well during the Sunday service. I could even wear it all day if I wanted and it would stay pretty well. Every now and then I just check to make sure I don't have any hair sticking out and that it's hasn't slipped back, but it's it's very easy to reposition, to readjust if you need to. So let's review my five tips for keeping the head covering in place. Number one, you need to have a low hairstyle. Number two, you need to have the right size of scarf, preferably a medium scarf, and you need to have the right type of fabric, nothing too silky and smooth. Tip number three, the placement of the scarf is important. So not too far forward and not too far back. Number four, the type of clip that you use. I prefer snap clips. And tip number five, the tightness of the knot. You don't wanna have the head covering either too tight or too loose. I hope these tips have helped you. If you have your own tips for keeping head coverings on, please share with me in the comment section below. Now in this video, I'm just talking about the triangular scarf. I know there are other kinds of scarves that I haven't talked about yet. In another video, I'd love to talk about the rectangular scarf and the infinity scarf. Um, but if you do have tips for those kinds, go ahead and share them too. Any kind of tips are helpful for us women who wear head coverings. If you want to see more videos, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. Also, you might be interested in checking out my blog, The Heavenly Hearth, where I talk about homekeeping, being a wife, being a mother, modesty, and natural health and beauty. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this and have a great day, guys. Bye!